Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. Finally made it back over to Valgero from Aberration. And I tell you what, man, it is so nice being out in the sun instead of being underground all the time. What we have planned for today is a couple things. First of all, I've brought the trophies over from Aberration. I want to go ahead and put those up on the wall. It'll be very, very quick. And then we have a flag to set out as well. And then the Ark Editions mod has a new creature. I think it's pronounced a uh, Healy Coprion. We're going to call it a Healy because you know me and Dino names. They just don't work out. It's kind of like a shark, kind of unique, has a different food for taming. The only thing is there's none on this map. I jumped over to Lost Island and there's only one, which kind of has me worried. Sometimes they spawn in the ground, so we might end up jumping over to the island and try to find some over there. Doesn't matter the level, I just want to get one tamed, check it out, and see if it's something we're interested in. If so, later on we'll get some for breeding and try to get the higher level ones. So, let's get started for today. What I want to do is, those are the three from this map. So we're going to leave those right there. And then over here, we'll start making our big trophy wall and just put all three versions of all the other ones here. Probably move creatures that are like the alphas and kind of unique ones over onto this wall here. That's something we'll do at some other point in time. For today, all we're going to do is get rid of these. Put these up. We should be good. The food is kind of unique. It takes some different stuff that we haven't ever had to do before. And I'm hoping we have everything for it. Looks kind of neat. I like how they're all different colors. This one seems like Rockwell to me. The other ones, <laughs> not so much. But it's kind of neat. They're all facing the different directions too. I don't know, kind of weird. Throw our flag out here. And if we end up going to Lost Island... We'll grab the flag and trophies from there and get those things set out here eventually, too. Ah, uh, dude, it's going to be so nice having all the flags and trophies and all that set up. I really hope Arc 2 has stuff like that, you know? It's kind of like the little things, right? Little extra stuff. So we are taking him. Go ahead and start packing while we're talking about it. We are going to need some scuba. We'll take one full set plus an extra tank, like usual. Going to need some of that. I think we should go ahead and repair this just in case. So the thing is, whenever we go to tame this thing, as you feed it, it's supposed to kind of create that enraged buff or whatever it is from the from the bile. From this stuff. So it's not a good thing. <laughs> I hope that there's no megs or, or not megs, but Moses or squid around when we go to tame it. So what we need for the treats here, I'll just show you. So that's the treat. We need some bile, we need honey, and then we need squid tentacles. That's kind of why we started off on this map today. I've got the honey, I've got some tentacles here, not very many. Let's get rid of these and that. We got 23. And how many does it take for each one? Oh, dude, it takes two for each one. So we can make what, 11? So maybe it'll be better if we find a low-level one, just to make sure we have enough, because it's not kibble. I don't know how many it's going to take for each one. And then as for the bio, we don't have any of that, so what we need to do... I got a couple blood packs made up, and we've got some of this. Let's see about... grinding this up and seeing how many we can make. That's going to make quite a few. How many of the bile is it, is it for each one? Holy crap, dude, it's 10 for each one. Uh, we might not be able to get that many anyways. So that'll kind of work out, and we need to make a saddle. It kind of looks like a meg saddle, which is fine. We're not going to upgrade it today, mainly because I am very shy on a lot of resources. And that's something we'll work about or work with whenever we go to kind of tame some better ones for breeding. Oh, we actually got a lot. Does that make two for each one, I guess? Or more than that? Holy crap, dude. So I think it's 11. Is that crafting? Where's the... Is that crafting just a 1? But the thing is, there's some buggy stuff with this mod. There's been some reports of issues with the creature. So I'm hoping we don't have too many problems. I guess 1 is crafting the treats. You can only craft 1 at a time. Craft all 10. It's not showing the, the number where it shows, you know, how many it's crafting. Ah, uh, dude, don't tell me I have to craft these one at a time. I do! What? 
Craft all. Good thing there's only nine, I guess. But I think we're kind of set. So we have... We got our scuba, we got the shadow main. We've got our treats we're making in a saddle. Let's go ahead and throw some black dye on the saddle. Make these while we're talking, since you can only do one at a time. And that'll take care of that. So this creature, it's supposed to take your items, right? It's supposed to be kind of like the upgrade station. You can take an item, put it in its inventory, and then you have a chance to create a blueprint from it. So if you put in an Ascendant one, it should come out as Ascendant, if it creates one. If it's a Mastercraft, it'll turn it into a Mastercraft one. The only problem is, it's not a guarantee like the Blueprint Station is. So it's kind of, uh, kind of interesting. I'm not sure if we'll use that feature. We'll definitely play with it. We'll probably just make up, I don't know, maybe a pick or something. Put it in its inventory and kind of see what happens with it. I don't know what happens if it fails, if you just lose everything. So we'll definitely do some testing today. But, let me get these made up and I'll see you either on... Lost Island or The Island? I don't know yet. Maybe I'll jump to The Island, do a quick scan, and see how many's there. If there's more than one, we'll stay on that map to try to tame one. Well, we're on Lost Island. I checked over on The Island before I came here, and there was absolutely zero. So we're kind of stuck with what we have here. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. Whatever level it is, we'll tame it, and then go from there. Get all of our stuff real quick. Get this kind of sorted out. It takes forever sometimes after changing maps. Really wish it would keep all my folders. That's the main thing. That, I don't know. Sometimes whenever I change maps, it keeps my whole hop bar like it should be. I don't know why other times it doesn't. I'm not sure what dictates that, but it would definitely be nice to have all my hot bars stay the same. Anyways. Put that down there. We're going to need the scan tool and the GPS. That's the main thing. I think we're set. Let's go ahead, while we're here. So there's the one. There is the R version and X version. So that's going to be on Gen 2 and then Gen 1. We'll definitely check those out at some other point in time. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of them now. Fantastic. So there was just the one that was up over here. I guess it despawned. Not that big of a deal. However, let's start making our way. Looks like there's two over there. There's one out in the water here right by base. That one. Let's take a look at that one, and then we'll kind of loop around and head back up this way. Or this way, right over here. That's just on the other side of the islands, a little kind of swamp area. So that's not too far. Cool, man. Well, at least there's more of them here. I don't know. Maybe I should have checked on Valgaro. Maybe it just takes a while for him to spawn in. I don't know. I've been... Doing a lot of dino wipes and stuff on Valgaro because there was none spawning in. So I'm not sure what maps they're supposed to be on. There's not too much info on it right now, right? Because they're super new. Y'all alright? You aren't alright. Dude, I'm so worried. Whenever we go to feed this thing, when it gives that enraged buff, I do not want to have too many of those other fish around. Let's do that. And let's do this before he starts crying. And it should be... One out over here. Depending on what level this is, if it's super low level, maybe we'll leave it. Because it's kind of right here at base, right? And we'll check the other ones first. We can always use this one as a fail safe, something to fall back on. If I can find it. <laughs> That's the thing. It is so hard to see in the water sometimes. Long distance, you know. So there's the one. It's only a 25. Super low level. Let's get up to it, though. It's supposed to be passive. So we shouldn't have to worry about it doing anything to us. What's up, Junior? They're not too big, man. I like the design. They're kind of like in between a Meg and a Dolphin for size-wise, right? Cool. Let's leave him here. That is super low level, man. 25. I'd like to have one that's at least around a 90 or so. 90, maybe 100. But there's not too much around here either that we have to worry about when we go to tame it. So let's, let's see. Let's do a little bit more searching. Seems how there's multiples on the map. And where was the other ones at? That is a scary sight. Okay, they're all on the other side of the map. So that's the one we'll fall back on if we have to. That one's way over... Where is that? Kind of on the coast, maybe? Oh, that's another one that's over here, too. Let's loop around. I'll go ahead and check that one. 
then we'll check that one. All right, tell you what, just give me a minute. I'm going to check these other spots, and then we'll pick the highest level one and try to tame it. So here is the one we're going to tame. So it's a level 120. The other ones I've seen were like 20, 25, I think a 45. There was one or two that I couldn't find. There is a problem, though. <laughs> it's supposed to get enraged, right? We've got two pleasies right here as well. It's a 140 and a 50. So that might cause a little bit of problems. Let's see if he'll come over here a little bit. We've got a couple mantas. We've got the sharks. I'll tell you what, the sharks, man. So all we should have to do is run up to it, feed it a little bit, and then it's supposed to spawn in creatures too. So I'm kind of worried about that as well. There's, there's a lot of stuff I'm worried about with this team, man. We're in the water. There's a lot of stuff around. There's usually, oh, there's more pleasies. Is that the same one? That's the same one. Let's get this put over here. Okay, well, let's swim up a little bit. But Junior on passive. Oh, I'll tell you what. Yep, I was going to say, we might just take out the pleasies beforehand. <laughs> I don't want to cause any problems. I didn't want to really fight these if I didn't have to. It's because there's pleasies and they do quite a bit of damage, you know? At least there are no alphas over here. At least none showing up on the scanner, that is. Alright, we good? We alright? I just want to do some taming, man. In peace, if, if we can, if possible. Let's grab our fins. Oh, dude, you are super far away, buddy. I don't want to call him towards me because I don't want him to cause any problems. Oh, dude, look at the colors on him, man. All right, so all we should have to do... Feed it a treat. Okay, how much did I get for each one? We need to get back to our team. Yep, there's the debuff we get, the enraged one. And there's a shark that he spawned in. Did he spawn in the mantas, too? I know there was one manta. Oh, a couple sharks. Oh, dude, there's quite a few of them. Okay, well, stuff gets interesting. It's another, another one of the new taming mechanics. It spawns in. Dude, that's a lot of stuff spawning in. Or coming for us, at least. I need to turn off resource harvesting off of our shadow main. Okay, big bite. There we go. That's a 145, too. It's not like it was a low-level creature. And let's see... How are we looking here? 45% off of one. That's not bad at all, man. Oh, dude, I thought we'd have to have a ton of these treats. Seems that they're not kibble, but that's not too bad. Let's see if he's ready for another one. Probably not. Usually have to wait quite a while. Nope, still not hungry. Oh, dude, okay. Let's get back to our shadow main, just because we still have the debuff for a couple seconds. Turn that off for the moment. I don't want to get overweight. I mean, being in the water, it's, it's not a really a thing you want. Dude is like swimming towards the surface. The one that was over by the desert would have been perfect, man. It was super low level. That was one of the 20s, but it was in a very kind of small blocked off area. It was right by the map border. And dude, there was nothing around but him. So that was going to be one of the ones we tamed if this one wasn't good, just because it would have been super simple. Get rid of all this extra stuff. We don't need any of this meat right now. Cool. We'll keep that pick. I was going to make a pick to... Trying to make a blueprint out of? Where'd he go? So we'll just keep that one instead. Save us from having to craft anything. Alright, let's try it again. See if he's ready. Nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna need one more feeding. And then we should be good. At least he doesn't come for you. Oh, dude, I'll tell you what. What was going on with you and that dolphin, man? <laughs> let's get back over here. I don't want to accidentally nick him whenever we're trying to kill off all this stuff. Dude, at least none of those other fish are around. That would be horrible having those, the way they kind of all mob on you and everything with a bleed effect. Poor little dolphins, man. Okay, okay. So yeah, we'll get this guy. We'll put him into a soul trap and take him right back to base. We'll do testing over there. I need to check to see if the turret has any element shards in it. That way we can be somewhat safe over there. While we're doing our testing. I don't know what kind of damage this guy will end up doing or stuff like that. I'm hoping he's fast in the water. He's pretty cool looking. Be a nice little scout. So one of the things that he does is he's immune to the little animal mite, or however you pronounce it, the buff. So you don't have to worry about that. You can kill those off with him. And then he's immune to the squid grab. So he will be super good when we go farming for more squid parts. 
let's go ahead. Let's take a look real quick and see. What is your payment effectiveness? 99%. Okay, cool. Let's see if he's ready for another bite. One more and he should be good. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, that's not too bad. Other than everything in the world coming for you. I'm just saying. But it's nice to have the different taming mechanics. Cool. Let's get up here to land. We'll use the teleporter to get back. I mean, we're not far from base. Oh, yeah. And somebody left me a comment, too. With the shadow main, every now and then he does that very, very, like, really far jump. It's because of the, the water buff you get. The one up there, the hydration buff. That's what allows him to do that super long jump. So I'm glad somebody told me because, dude, I'll tell you what. It's kind of weird how he would do it sometimes, but I guess it's whenever I'm running through the puddles. Definitely take a look for those when we go running around, just because, dude, that is super easy way to get around the map very, very fast. I think we're still good. Not being trailed by anything. That always makes me nervous when you get that enraged buff, man. Little Pella. Alright, so, get our scuba tank and stuff off. I don't think he has anything we want to keep. Oh, yeah, we want to keep that. And let's do that, too, just in case. Get rid of the rest of this so it'll despawn. One teleporter trip back to base, please. And we're on the turtle. Fantastic. That's where our other griffin is that I thought I lost. <laughs> He's just chilling up on top there. All right, tell you what, let's check. I know I was out of the element shards last time out of here. Let's check and see, just because I don't want to have to worry about stuff coming for us when we're doing some research on this guy. Oh, dude, you know what? I can't actually get to it because of this. Oh, he's got plenty in there. Plenty! Okay, cool. So... We good? A lot going on over there. That's what I was worried about, man, was all those fish. Ah, oh, dude, that looks fantastic, man. Turn that off for a minute. Check around a little bit. Awesome model that they made for him. Kind of weird shape, too, right? Kind of like the, the way his nose is and everything. Slants off a little bit. A little bit of battle scars there. Cool colors, too. Nice colors. I can't wait to see the X and R versions. Tell you what, I'm still nervous, even though... Oh, yeah, oxygen. Even though we got the turret there. So, look at some stats real quick. So it's a male, tamed out to be a level 179. 3700 on the health, stamina is 1400, damage is 328, and then conversion success rate, that's the one for the blueprints. It's at almost 50%. So you got almost a half of a chance to, or 50% chance to get it turned into a blueprint. Let's put these in here. 20 seconds to convert it, okay? Dude is like tearing it up. Is that a... <laughs> it's like a saw in his mouth or something. Oh, look at his teeth, man. It's like right down the middle. That's kind of neat. So if it makes it a blueprint, it should leave all of the stats the same on it. I mean, that was a primitive one. The Healy broke your equipment. Okay, so I guess that was a fail. You do get some resources back. Okay. What about this? Convert that one. We'll try one more. I mean, all it's going to do is make a blueprint, so it's not like a big deal if we we don't get it again this time. But the thing is, man, if you're going to use this for that... Oh, we did. Okay, cool. Is you definitely want to put a lot of points in that because you do not want to lose your item. And there you go. One blueprint. So, yeah, it should be an ascendant one. Like, we did that, and it was a successful one. So that's kind of neat. I mean, if you don't want to use another mod like the upgrade station, definitely a cool mechanic and a different one. So let's see. We got 3,700. 41. Holy crap, that goes up quite a bit, man. Let's jump on. We'll throw the saddle on. Let's see what kind of damage he does. The size is not too bad at all. Ah, uh, dude, that is an awesome color pattern. So this is normal speed. Oh, he's a slow swimmer. He's like a dunkle. And that is the speed bonus. <laughs> that... Oh, I definitely need to put some points into that. So you're at 20. Where's the other one? I don't want to be munching on like a 150. Oh, but I had to say something. All right, let's see what kind of damage he does. 98. Oh my gosh, that is not much, man. Let's put a point into damage. 
So that goes up to 342. So that's about 20%. We might have to... Oh, we're gonna have to go back. We're gonna have to go back over here. That is... <laughs> that is not a much at all. Is that a... Is that a squid up here? Oh, never mind. Nope, that's just the textures are all messed up. They killed something and the textures got all... all messed up. I want to bite him one more time to see what damage he does now. Oh, well, they're mate bonused. Or they're mate boosted, right? He doesn't do much at all. Oh, dude, he needs a lot of work. I can even bite him. There we go. 102. Okay, so it goes up to 102. I think it was, what, 98? So it doesn't go up very much. I wouldn't feel comfortable until he has around 3 or 350. Let's go ahead and put a couple more points into damage. Really got to watch out. He's got that extra stat in there, so it moves everything up. And where you're kind of used to clicking on damage, mess up and hit the wrong thing and put it into, like, movement speed on accident. I do like his teeth, though, in the middle. It's kind of different, right? Really hard to hit stuff that's behind you. I mean, we're at 122, so not too many points. Probably about another 20 points or so, and his damage should be decent. Put some into health, of course, and then definitely into movement speed. Should get quite a few points from this. Oh, he does a tail swipe, too. Oh, there you go. 203, okay. But you have a delay. You can't do that again. There we go. Interesting, interesting. I don't want to put too many points into health right now because I don't want to have to heal him up. But that tail swipe, that does a lot more damage. You just can't do it very much. You can't spam it. So maybe like a tail swipe and then a normal bite attack. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, dude, how's your stamina, though? I think stamina might be fine. 1,400's a good bit. Man, it's not too bad. If you get that up around 120, 125, that should be fairly decent for movement speed. Oh, dude, well, let's go take a look at this real quick. Before we go, I want to see what this is. I think it's just a kind of messed up texture on something that got killed. <laughs> it looks like one of the... Abyssal fish. Oh, dude, yeah, that's kind of it's kind of bad. Oh, we got some turtles right here, too. Yep, it's bad textures. There's quite a few things over here. Yep, yep, bad day for you. Yep, bad day for you, too. There's one for sure. That's what it is. That's that whole school that was over here. I wonder if the turtles took them out. Kind of interesting. What level are you? It's only a 20. That's only a 20. I tell you what, there's a lot of 20s on the map. I might need to do a dino wipe here and let everything kind of respawn in. There's been some weird stuff with some of the creatures. Well, man, not too bad of a day. I like it. I think it looks fantastic. I definitely won't use it for making blueprints. Uh, I kind of want to put some points into his movement speed and then use it for getting around the map. I do like the skin patterns, too. The colors on it. Can't wait to see what the R version looks like and the X version. We'll have to do some checking next time we're on those maps. I mean, that's all coming up. It's all on the list. We have a ton of stuff to do on those other maps, especially with taming some of the uh, Arc Edition creatures that are specific over there. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the new little creature. I think it's fantastic, man. It looks awesome. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.